Hello, welcome to Fast Foods. Today we're going to be making a dip that dates back to the 14th century with the Aztecs. Let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first we'll start with the avocado. I like to use a paring knife. You want to split it in half. And you twist. My little trick on doing this, cut it horizontally. Once again we're making it dice, so you want to be making it about the size of the chunks of the guacamole. Careful not to cut yourself. Grab a spoon and then you just scoop it out. Throw your skins in the compost. To get the pit out, once again you got to be careful with the knife on this one. You're going to put it into the seat and pull it out. Throw it in the compost. Do the same thing with this side. Now some people like to add sour cream or mayonnaise or whatnot to their guacamole. It's an American tradition if you want to call it that. Uh, the Mexicans call it aguamole, like water mole, because uh, it's watered down. It's not, it doesn't give you the true taste of the avocado. I don't like to put fillers like that in there. Okay, so we got the avocado in there. I like to add my salt next, just so it goes straight onto the avocado. Next we'll go ahead and do the tomato. You want to cut it in half. And then when you put it, you can cut it horizontally again. Stop just shy of the end. Place it in, cut it out. Careful not to cut yourself. And then just gonna dice it. Serrated blades work really well for this too. If they're really sharp. Throw that in. Do the same thing to this one. Next we'll just take our regular black olives, pour them out, it's kind of a pain when they roll around, use your knife, squish them down, to flatten them out, chop them up relatively fine. Throw that in, do the cilantro next. Some people leave it out, they don't like it, most people I find do enjoy it. It's up to you. Dice it up nice and fine. You can leave it big if you like it, but I prefer it small. Next, we're going to throw in some quesero cheese. Um, this isn't a necessary one, it's a mild cheese. Uh, I do enjoy the extra flavor it adds. It's up to you, it's extra calories. If you want to be healthy, leave it out. Dice it up. We got about half a red onion here. I'm going to cut this one. Now we have a jalapeno. Depending on how, how much heat you can handle, um, I usually put about half a jalapeno into a guacamole for a party. It's a small amount, but enough to give it some kick. Take out the seeds. This one you want to cut up much finer than everything else. Next we have the limes. These are key limes, four key limes. You can probably use just one regular lime. It does the same trick. This is just something new I wanted to try. I'm going to break them all in. Now I highly, highly recommend you buy regular lemons for that. Right now I'm sweating. If you could see my face, I'm dripping with sweat. Uh, if you live in a dorm, get the squeeze lemon, whatever it is. Uh, it, tastes, it tastes much better if it's real, but, you know, love makes good food. So there you go. Now all you got to do, mix it up. And this is a very chunky guacamole salsa salad thing, but believe me, it is awesome with chips. You can dice it up a little finer, make it closer to a guacamole or a salsa. But this is the way I like it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for joining Fast Foods. We'll see you next time. Bye.